Hey everyone, GoBots here, back today with a brand new episode for MLB The Show 20 Franchise Mode here with your Texas Rangers. We are still in the downward stretch now, or I guess the end stretch of the season here in year two of our franchise here with the Rangers in 2021. Currently a half game back in the American League West Division behind the Oakland Athletics. The Rangers coming into today's game are 70-54. and 54. We've won six out of our last ten games, but... As you can see, we are still trailing in this division. Uh, the A's just they keep the pressure on us, man. And right now, we're actually not even in the postseason. The American League East, you see the Yankees are leading that division. So the Rays and the Red Sox are the two top wildcard teams, currently two games ahead of our Rangers. So needless to say, with a month and a half left in the season, there's pressure on these Rangers because last year we we, uh, we had a bad end of the season. We we had the lead in the division, then the A's stayed strong, we lost the division, but we made it as a wild card and were eliminated in the wild card game against the Yankees. So, we got some big stuff coming up here. Uh, most recently, last episode, we were swept by the A's in Oakland. So today, coming into the action, I wanted to jump in. We're going we're gonna to play this finale game, but I wanted to jump in and do Super Sims on these first two games. And then uh, get into the action and all. So it's quick manage and all. But thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoy the video, as always, hit that thumbs up. Comment down below. Feel free to hit that notification bell so you're notified when I go live. And feel free to join in the Good Watch family. Subscribe as we have passed 6,000 subs. Thank you all so much. So here we are. We're into the action. Got a couple base runners on. Nothing else happening. Double play. Double by Willie Calhoun, who's just had a tremendous season. Come on, Rangers. Oh, my gosh. I'm nervous, man. This is a series. We really need to take this series. Lindor. Calhoun opens it up with a home run. He's two for two on the day. Come on, Lyles. Be sharp here. Good job. Another home run. That's Josh Young with his homer. Rangers up 2 nothing. Lyles give you through six. Double play out of the inning. Calhoun... Single by Joey. All right, so we're in the seventh inning. Lyles, if he allows a base runner, he's going out of the game. And he gives me a one, two, three, baby. All right, so Trevino on out of the pin. He walks the leadoff man. Sam Huff, a strike up by the Young. Runners at first and second. One out, ground out, runners in scoring position, and it's a walk to load the bases. Elvis. Yes, sir. He singles into the Rangers take the 4-0 lead. Here comes Jeffries. All right, so Lyles, you got some room to work with now. We're going to see how he does here in this eighth. There's the double, and that is it for him. Let's go to a pitching change here. Let's go ahead and bring in Brett Martin. And Brett Martin, God bless him. Come on, Rangers. Add me some insurance here. Please. Please, Marwin. Yes, sir. Lindor, dadgummit. All right, so we have a save situation. LeClerc is very, very tired. I don't even know if we bring him in right now, to be honest with you guys. I think we go to uh, to Miller. <sighs> Ground out. Fly out. Walk. We win the game. Let's go. So we win game one. It was a battle. <laughs> but we get the win there today. Oh, Also, I wanted to check on our... Uh, Again, our all-star member on this channel uh, that joined in in the Gilbotch family, I, and thank you so much for that again. William Richard, again, uh, he joined as a member here on Gilbotch Gaming, uh, supporting us, and now he gets to be a part of our franchise as a rookie. So, 20-year-old, a B potential player. He is currently 232 batting average and 207 at-bats in AAA. I mean, it's the start of his career. We'll see how he does. We'll continue to follow him as he continues to grow there in the minors for us. We only have one currently, but here we go. Let's get to the middle game. Again, we're going to play the finale of this series. So uh, we're going to see how this goes right here. Game two, a lot of tired bodies out there for the Rangers. We need we need Kluber to be solid, though, today. Okay, double play. Single from Lindor. Double play. Dadgummit, Elvis. Okay, out of that inning. Gallo singles, walk by Nelly. Sack bunt. Three run shot, Marlon Gonzalez coming up for the Rangers. Bases loaded for Willie. Oh, man. Well, we got some room to work with now with a 3 nothing lead. Double play, Taylor, come on, man. Two on, no one out. 
Kluber. Freaking Kluber. He allows a grand slam. The Rangers now trail. Here comes Weems out of the pen. Bases loaded for Lindor. He singles in two to give the Rangers the lead. Another run in on Elvis single. Here comes Jake Diekman, former Ranger. He walks a man. Joey Gallo to the plate. Gallo will strike out. So we're going to the late innings here. We're going to go ahead to the pin. And we're going to bring in uh, Petit here out of the pin. And he... Pfft, he allows a solo shot. And it's now a one-run Ranger lead. Okay, much better. We look like we gotta get a close here, man. He's gonna bring in Leclerc. He had the night off yesterday. He allows a leadoff walk, strikeout. He blew it. Freaking Leclerc, he blowing leads. That gum him. That gum him. So we're in extras. There's a. Come on, Rangers. We don't need these extra inning games. Oh, shoot. Uh, shoot. Didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to bring in him. My bad, LeClerc. Or, uh, not LeClerc win. So we're going to lose this middle game. No, we tied it! Oh, okay, Lynn, I need to take you out. I didn't. I did not mean to put Lance Lynn in. He pitches tomorrow. We're just that thin right now. Look at this. We're so thin. Down by one again. One door's on. Oh, we're going to pinch run. Caught stealing. Are you crapping me? We lost. Caught stealing by our best runner out there. So we're going to this last game of the series. The Rangers are tired. Very, very tired. Oh, boy. We'll see how this goes for us out there today, ladies and gents. I do not want to wear that hat. Thank you very much. I want to wear our home hats. Thank you. All right, so we're getting into this home game. Lance Lynn a little bit tired, but hopefully we'll see how it goes here today. Josh Young can use some rest. We'll auto that. Gallo looks a bit worn out. We'll, uh, I'll tell you what we'll do with him. We're going to move Gallo to the DH today. We'll let Nelly Cruz play right field, which may be very iffy. We'll see. Okay. Calhoun looks a bit worn out. We'll give him a break. Golly, the Rangers are so tired today. So Will Craig will get a start. Nelly Cruz will be in right field. Joey Gallo will be DHing. Uh, and Sheridan Apostle will be starting at third as Josh Young's getting a day off. So the Rangers very, very tired. Uh, we've been playing for, it feels like, forever. And we're still just a half game out in the division. So we win this game today. We are uh, the division leaders after this series. So big game here today from Globe Life Field. We need to get a big win here today, guys. That's all I, that's all I got to say about it. And we got our arm of Lance Lynn. He came out and pitched a inning. Unintentional on my part. I, I rushed what I was doing. We'll see how he does there for us, man. Let's go. Really, I just want him to give me a strong six, maybe seven, if, if at max, because I know he's tired. We're a game and a half out in the wild card as well right now. God bless. Rounder skipping through. Lead off hit. Rangers in a pickle. A thorn in our side, man. They have been for a season and a half now. These A's, man, they just they they, they they're difficult on us. Swing and a miss over the cutter. I'll give him the curveball low here. And ground ball up the middle. Terrible throw there from Elvis. Screwed everything up. So no double plays. That was just a slow roller. Chapman out of the plate. Nothing happening there. Okay. Strike one on the outside part of the plate. Chapman, the top RBI man on the A's roster. Currently with 92 ribbies. Batting 294 this year. He's, he's a good hitter. Gum it. We're staying away from him, too. And he knows it. Oh, that hung. Get there. Thank God. 
Thank God Will Craig got there. That ball hung up, and we are very fortunate that it stayed in the yard. Matt Olson to the plate now. Strike one on the outside part of the plate. Swing and a miss on the inside fastball. 0-2 count. Swing and a miss, or swing and a foul on the two seam. We'll go back to the four seam high. Fouls it off at 96. I don't want I don't want Lynn to labor too much in this game. Oh, just high. Just a little late. Good stolen base there. We didn't check him at all. He got a great jump on us there because we were kind of tempoing. Up the middle. And they are not going to test him. Oh, my curveballs are not hitting like I want them to today. Oh, they're they're floating. I'm trying to hit my spots, but the curveballs are not looking very good so far. Got him. Let's go. Out of the inning. It was a uh, <laughs> a block right there in the front of the plate, but fortunately we were able to get him out there. So we're going up today against Jesus Lazardo. Let's hope we can torch him today with these bats for the Rangers. Really needing the big one here today to get the momentum going against these A's. Oh boy, bad swing at that four seam. Gold Glove winner last year, or in the 2019 Gold Glove winner, I guess. Not 2020. And this is just low there. Hayes again leading the American League West by a half game over these Rangers. This is high with a chain a uh, curveball there. So two one here to Francisco. This is outside. Three one. Elvis on deck. Three one. And that's on the outside part of the play. We foul we we uh, pop it up in the infield to the first baseman. There's out number one. I'm not very happy with it. Alright, so Elvis will come to the play. He's tenth in the American League in batting average, currently batting three fourteen. He's going to give that a ride. Carrying out. Tough play, not going to make it. And that's a ground rule double for Elvis, second, 22nd on the year. And now bring up now Will Craig. Oh, shoot. I should have moved the lineup around. <laughs> he came up big one game. I can't remember what it was when he hit that walk off or he hit that tying home run. Oh, there you go. He's slapping that oppo. That's going to give the Rangers the 1-0 lead and will be an extra base opportunity here for Craig in his first at-bat of the game. It's a double, back-to-back -back doubles for the Rangers. And Craig coming huge right there. Fourth double in the year gives the Rangers the 1-0 lead. And here comes Joey Gallo, batting now 281. 1-0 as that misses just barely outside. Big slugger for the Rangers, having a great year. And oh my goodness, right at the middle, about took his leg off. We're going to send our run home, and that's off. Ooh, actually, he had a better arm. That may have had us. Craig comes in. It's a single, RBI single there for Joey Gallo. And now bring up Nelly Cruz. Oh, hacks at the two seam, fouls it off. Four hits away from 2,000 in his career. And that's going to be one closer for him. Three hits away now from it. Runners on at first and second. And just one away for the Rangers. And that will now send up Sam Huff, who I forgot to change his number again, dadgummit. I'll eventually remember to change his number, guys. Y'all just need to stay persistent with me on that. And he's early on the curveball there. Fouls it off. Sam Huff, last four games, has three runs scored. And he's, again, the curveballs, man. You better be careful with those things. We're... We're on him. We're just early. 0-2 to Huff. This is inside with another curve. Rangers already on top early in this game. 2-0 over the A's. And that is a well-struck ball, but right to the center fielder. Out number two. And that one I'll bring up Josh Young. Actually, Josh Young's out today, so it's Sheridan Apostle batting 3-12 in his few moments he's had this year. Let's see what he can get done here with two out and two on. 
This is low with the four seam. Again, Postle has a future here with these Rangers. Uh, I really do think he can be a guy that takes over for Elvis at some point. And he hammers that. Gone! Three-run shot of Postle. Holy crap. Third on his season. And the Rangers will just belt this game open in the first inning up now five. Nothing. How about that, man? Good job, youngin. Coming in here making big plays happen in your key spots. He's been playing well, man. On a rope, too. He went down and got that ball. Five nothing Texas, and here comes Marlon Gonzalez. Wow. So we just can't let this game unfold for us. And, uh, Marwin will line. Man, we, we hit, we're hitting that guy pretty well, though, out there. So, Apostle really opens this game up for Texas now, leading 5-0 after the first frame. And we'll get into the inning number two here. Leading 5-0, Lance Lynn still on the bump. And now he has run support, man. So, this is a big a big get going for the Rangers. We need this win here to give us the lead in the division. And then uh, we, we really just need a strong last week and a half here in August to, to really set the tone for us in September. Because I do think this team can win this division. I, I'm just concerned if we don't that we won't even be in the wild card situation. So that's my concern with this team right now. We're going to have to have some help. God damn it. Full. And again, this is a game I don't want to use the pin too often, so I'd really like Linda. Be as good as possible today. Tough play to make there for a pitcher, but who says pitchers aren't athletes? Look at him making the, the the play there, running to the plate. Steven Piscotti to the plate now. Watches the four seam come in at 95, strike one. He's been playing really well over the last four games or so, batting over 400 in that stretch. Fouls off that two seam right down Broadway. Fortunate for us, 0-2. Misses it. Oh my gosh. Did we fool you or what, Piscotty? Go sit down and rethink it. Yeah. First strikeout of the day. Here comes Austin Allen. Not to be confused with the former Razorback quarterback. Up the middle into the shift. Lindor's there. Picked up out of the dirt by Marlon Gonzalez, and that is the end of the inning. So the Rangers captain up there doing a jig. Very happy about it. And here comes Danny Santana, center fielder, switch hitter. Get that bat wag going. This is outside with the change up, a 1-0 for Santana. Oh, okay. Good pitch, good pitch. Credit due to you, senor. So two one count. Oh, fouls it off. Two two. Oh, foul off the curve. Two two. And right into the left field bullpen section. That's going to be extra bases out here today, y'all. Let's go. That's a double. So, Lizardo's struggling today, y'all. So, they're bringing a new man out of the pen here. Good old Jake Beekman, the sidewinder. So, I don't like playing against him because that delivery right there is nuts. So, we'll see if we can send out Deekman pretty quick here. 5 0 Ranger lead, man on at second, and no one out here in the second inning. This is high. Okay. It's fair, it's good. 2-0. Oh my god. That was garbage. Garbage swing there on Deekman's four seam. It's always given me so far as four seam, four seam, four seam. So we'll see what we can get here on this 2-1 count. 
God bless him. It's just that his delivery, y'all, is just... Ugh. It grinds my gears. You know what I mean? So 2-2 two -two count out here for Lindor. Oof. Watch out. You try to take my head off, man? Come on. Full count now for Lindor. And he'll walk him. So two on and no one out to begin this second inning. I'll bring up now Elvis, who doubled in later eight, came around to score for the Rangers. Here we go. Two on, no one out. Oh, gosh. How? We're going home. He's in. Six nothing. Rangers have runners at the corners. Good Lord. We are thrashing you boys today. Keep it up. Let's go, Craig. You doubled earlier. You RBI'd and you came around to score. And just throwing up some big numbers today. And he's going to pop it up. Shallow. Shallow. He makes the play. That's tough. All right, so Joey Big Fly to the plate. He singled earlier. What are you going to give me here, Deacon? You going to give me that fastball out here? Oof. Just missed. So 1 0 count here for Joey Gallo against his former colleague, teammate. Oh. It's a tough pitch right there, out there. I shouldn't be hacking out that way, anyways. So 1 1 count for Joey Gallo. And this is outside there. Staying away, that's fine. I can't blame him. 2 1. 6 0 Ranger lead here in the second inning. And Joey hammering that. Look how moonshot that thing was. That's got to be gone, guys. It is. Three runs, straightaway center field. 38th on the year for Joey Gallo. 107.6 exit velocity off that four seam. And the Rangers are completely obliterating the Oakland A's today here at home. Holy crap. It's 9 nothing now. Hammer. That thing it was a moonshot. Straight away, dead center field in the old Ranger ballpark. That would have been on the hill. We would have had Ranger faithful out there climbing all over each other trying to get that ball. Here comes Nelly Cruz, one for one. One out here with a 9 0 lead. This is high. Again, he's three hits away. Well, it says four, but we got a hit earlier, so it's now three hits away from career hit number 2,000 in his career. Well, can we make it two? No, nope. it's right to the right fielder. Darn it. He'll get chances today, though. He'll he'll still get three more at-bats. So if he can have a big game today, maybe it will be the day he breaks through and gets that milestone for his career. So two down. Oh, boy. He came in on me right there. Okay. Good job. Oh, one count. Jam sandwich. Jam sandwich. All right, Sam Huff, 0 for 1 today. Come on, Huff. And his confidence is low. His energy is wavering. And that, wow. That was awkward. Good play there, though, for the first baseman, making a big play. All right, so we'll go to the third. We'll get this third inning rolling. And it's the 8-9-1. Fouls off that one. So Lance Lynn's got to be feeling pretty dang good right now because... Again, he, he, he had to pitch yesterday in an inning. I didn't mean to do that, but he did so. So he's coming in today a little bit different routine, and uh, he's being asked to give us a good game. And so far, he's got a 9 nothing lead with the run support. So <clears throat> all things are turning out well for the, young, for, the, for the young man, I say. Maybe on his last year with the Rangers, I don't know. I haven't re-signed him or extended him yet. I've still not made up my mind on that just yet because... He's had really good years back-to-back -back for Texas. This year he's been okay, but he's not been uh, as good as he, ha as he has been. So still some things I need to figure out there, Lance Lynn, and, and this lineup rotation, everything going forward. 1-0. One, 0-1, oh, oh one, I mean. 0-2 oh, now. So here we go. 0-2 oh, count. Let's go up here on your face here. Pilar. Actually, I missed. Watch out. We'll come up and end this time on you. Fouls off another. 
Okay. We'll give you the two seam for once here. Fouls off another. You're making life difficult, Pilar. Calm it down, bro. Right to me. Elvis has got it. Good job. You got, you got to love Elvis making that move over there to second base because he knows Lindor's now the, the future shortstop taking over the reins from him. Elvis, as long as he's with the Rangers, he'll be over there doing... Oh, God, that's gone. That's gone. So that gets them on the board. It's a solo shot from Simeon. It's 22nd on the year. And I'm bringing up the two-man now. So we give up one. That's fine. I'm not going to freak out about it. This is there. <sighs> yeah, I know where you want it. Right there. Okay. 1-1 one, one count. Fouls it off. We will simulate a little bit after the today's game just to get us to the point where we need to be for next episode. So hopefully the Rangers can get some wins and a win column. On the plate there. That's a foul ball. This is high. Dad gummit. His control sucks right now, y'all. He's kind of missing. We're missing early on everything. Grounder to third. Apostles got it. Across the diamond tomorrow when that's an out. So two, uh, it's the end of the inning there. Simeon does get him on the board, though, with a home run. But it's still a Rangers eight-run lead, 9-1, going into the bottom of the third. So let's, let's get her going. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm good. See, these are the things I like to skip because I'm planning on skipping the fourth and fifth innings. So here we go. Apostle, he had a, uh, what was it, a three-run shot earlier? Made it 5 nothing after one. He's got a quick bat. I like it. Grounder back to Deekman. Makes the play. One down. So we go to the 8 9 now. Oh, God bless him. I hate his pitching. It's just. Uh, it's difficult at times for me to square up. So two down already in the inning. Working against Deakman here. Santana. And he. Oof. I don't think we've seen a sinker from you yet, my man. That thing comes in there blazing at 96. A one. This is high there, the four seam. 1-1 one, one count here for Santana. Oh, man, that thing came in, way in. I thought it was going to be settling around this edge. 1-2 count for Santana, two out in the inning. No Ranger runs or base runner so far. Oh, Gizmo's freaking out. Excuse, excuse my dog, y'all. I apologize. So 1-2 two count, two down. And that completely missed everything. Gizmo, chill out. All right, so nothing going on for us in that half inning. We're going to go ahead and get to the quick manage for the next two innings and see how things go out here for Lynn. He allows a home run, a single. Deacon's taken out for Trevino. Another home run, so Palumbo will come on in relief now. It's a 9-3 game. God bless it. So here we go. Coming into the sixth, it's a 9-3 Ranger lead. Palumbo had a good last inning overall. Let's, let's hope he can give us a good two more innings, at least. Rangers got a lot of run support today for our pitching staff. On a day where we really need it, because our pitching staff is very winded. After this series, it's just been kind of bonkers. Santana makes the play with one away. So one down. Bring up Jeanette. Scooter Jeanette 0 for 2 with two ground outs on the day. 
Okay. Last game, 0 for 7 with two strikeouts. Ugh. He's not having a very good time in this series. He's hitless in these last two games. And he pops it up. Sam Huff keeps the gear on and makes the play. Two down. 0 for 3 now for Jeanette out there. And I'll bring up now Piscotti. He singled back in the fourth inning. Rangers leading 9 to 3, two outs here in the 6th, and there's strike 1 over. 112 home runs in his career. And grounder, Elvis makes the play, sends it to Marlin, and that is it. It's a 1-2-3 inning out there for Palumbo. I'll bring up the Ranger bottom of the order. We've got the 8, 9, and 1 coming up here, and the shift is on here for Marwin Gonzalez working against Lou Trevino. And they call that a ball. Wow. We'll take it. Because that was certainly on the plate. 1-0 count here for Marwin. And he will pull that thing down the knee a la uh, Adrian Beltre style right there. 1-1 one, one count for Marwin Gonzalez. Giga -giga. Inside, swung on on that one. 1-2 <laughs> one, count. And yeah, Marwin's on that one. That's going to be a roped in for a single. Leadoff man's aboard for the Rangers here in the late middle innings at this bring up Santana. Oh, I thought I was going to drop in. Dang it. 0-1 count here for Santana. Switch hitter. We got lots of switch hitters right here. We got Gonzalez, Santana, and then Lindor all back to back to back are switch hitters, man. That puts a bind on you as a pitching staff. This is inside there. 1-2 count for Santana now. Come on, baby. Oh, boy, underneath that or something? What happened there? We just missed that. Yeah, we were barely underneath the 99 mile power heater. If we were a, a little bit up on, on that ball, we'd probably send it out of here making an 11-3 lead. But instead, it's about, and I'll bring up now Lindor. He's 0 for 2 today. Has a walk, a pop out, and another pop out. One on, one out. This is inside there, the heater. Last five games, he's 9 for 20. That's a 450 average, y'all. He's been playing well. Very, very happy with him adding into the Ranger lineup. Oh, my Lord. And he didn't miss a stitch on that baseball. That's going to go deep to right. And that made it up into the, the, the press boots out there. Holy moly. I don't think I've seen a ball go that far yet in this ballpark. 443. Lindor absolutely... Hammers that. That thing went forever. Look at it again. Show me a replay, fellas. Six home runs in the game, but that thing was completely off the off the, the window. Now bring up Elvis. Now, good lord, two for three with a double. Also uh, had an RBI today. This is high there, 98. 1-0 count here for Elvis. Goodness gracious, the Rangers are pouring it in today on this. Definitely a tired pitching staff out there for Oakland today. 1-1 one, one count here now after that fastball got in on the outside part of the plate on the corner. And oh my gosh! Oh no! Yeah. It's nothing more than a bruise. Well, that's... He's lucky, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Hold on, y'all. Replay. Look at this. I haven't... Uh, Elvis is see-through here, but look at this hit. I mean, that was a missile shot. And it went right off of his face. Oh, my goodness. 
I've never. Oh, you gotta hate to see that, guys. I'm gonna make that my screen cap for today just because that will probably be scary moment will be the title of that one right there. Scary, scary moment right there. Let me find a better angle here. Very scary moment right there where he's very fortunate in real life even. I mean, even in a video game, that is horrifying. But he got absolutely blasted. Blasted by that fastball. The hit right back up in his face. And that's a grounder, and that is stabbed at. Not going to be able to get the double play, man. These pitchers need to get out of harm's way right now. That's dangerous stuff. Right back at him again. And I'll bring up now Gallo. He's got four RBIs and a three-run shot. That came in the second inning. And Joey will hammer that. And that will end the inning if we can. Yep. Dang, man. So another big home run in this inning, and, and thankfully that pitcher is okay. 11-3, your Rangers lead here now in the seventh. And that misses just low there. And popped up shallow, Will Craig in pursuit. He's there. One down. Good stuff. Tony Kemp now, he had a home run back earlier in this game. Eight man in the lineup. Strike down the middle of the plate. A one. And that's grounded right back to Palumbo. Across to Marwin. And that is two out now here in the seventh inning. I'll bring up Kevin Pillar now. The center fielder here for Oakland. That will poke out foul. Barely. 0-1 count and two away here in the seventh. The Rangers up 11 to 3. Just completely, the floodgates are just opened up here today in Arlington against these Oakland Athletics. And a game we really needed to get. We needed to win this series, especially coming off that sweep we just had uh, against Oakland. And then we, we fortunately were able to take the series from Houston. Uh, but right now, really what matters for us is winning those head-to-head -head contests right now with Oakland. So that's a 1-2-3 inning there for the Rangers. I'll bring up Nelly Cruz now here in the seventh inning. And you know what? We're probably going to go quick manage uh, this inning here. We're gonna run comes in a three-run shot. Santana, the Rangers just... We're, we're completely unloading in this game, guys. Lombo. All right, so we're to the ninth. And that's it. 15-3, your Rangers get the win there. Coach Bud loves it. And uh, again, I didn't want to waste any more time. It was a big game out there for the Rangers. Joey Gallo gets the player of the game honors. Palumbo gets credit with the win, going five strong for the Rangers, finishing up after uh, Lyles left the game. And Lazardo gets the loss off one inning, where he gave up six runs total uh, after two innings he was in the game. So the Rangers with a big Big, big win there today against the division rivals. Now taking a lead in the American League West. And uh, again, like I said before we end today's episode, we're going to we're going to go ahead and sim here. And Kobe Allard sustained a broken arm in AAA. Dang, that's not great. I was actually really looking forward to him coming up and being a part of our bullpen um, for September call-up. So the Rangers now one game lead in the division. Let's go game by game and see how things go. Get a win there. Another win there. Nick Solak is no longer injured. That's interesting. What's that do for us? So Solak now will be the third baseman, they're saying? Uh, false. He will not be the third baseman. You are mistaken, video game. Uh, Solak will not take Josh Young's spot. Solak will be coming off the bench now because that's what happens in this game in the real life. You, you get injured, you lose your spot, you're not performing at the plate anyways, so... 
you know what? You just kind of got to deal with it, man. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's just how it goes. So, Rangers now, we have, what's our lead in the division? We still have decisions on uh, these call -out, or these uh, signings as well. I haven't re-signed any of these dudes yet. Again, Lance Lynn is the only one I'm really considering. Just because, you see, last year he was 15-2. and two. This year he's 12-6, and six, still solid in the ERA. Finally has climbed down below four uh but he's 33 don't really know how much money he's gonna want let's see how much money he's asking for four years 34 million see i just i don't know man y'all let me know should we re-sign lynn or should we just let him go to free agency and see what we can get because right now i'm kind of not thinking about it well, we lost that game hold on why did y'all mess my lineup again I sure as crap did. It's Monday morning and welcome Quit to messing with my show. stuff. And did y'all move Josh? The West, the they moved Young out. You gotta be kidding me. He's not sent down. Get the him back. Idiots. The two games up on second place. And the Mariners okay, now we have too many guys up here. So who can we send down on the Ranger team? Let's see. Major League roster. Who's the worst? Nelly Cruz is technically the worst right now. I can't send down a Rojo. Uh, Palumbo, I can't do anything with. I guess it's Will Craig, man. Sorry, man. Uh, 26-year-old. Dang, man. Well, um, Nelson Cruz is not going anywhere just because he's still, he's playing like crap right now. That's completely up true. He is playing like garbage. Does he have contract offers to go down? No, he'll go to waivers. I don't want to do that. I'd rather move Craig. I know it's going to make him be on waivers. Uh, Apostle can't go because that makes him go through waivers. Shoot. Oh, no, don't do that. He will have a minor league. Oof. I'm just not very happy about any of this. Uh, I guess we can send. No. Nope. All right. Well, well, Craig, you're the odd duck out, man. Sorry about you. As of right now, the That's just the way it's got to be. And, uh, oh yeah, we need to move. Make sure freaking Josh Young is starting like he's supposed to be. They moved every freaking thing around in my lineup. At the start of the day, the Red Sox are in third place in the AL East. Nine and a half. They moved everything the around in my lineup. The Rays are second in the division, yet they currently lead the race. For the Sorry, guys, I gotta fix all this crap now because the Luis game was fantastic at the plate screwed everything up for me. Leading the White Sox to victory against Detroit, fourteen to nothing. He is currently in the top five in the AL and triples. Entering the day's action, the Tigers are in last place in the AL Central. They're over 20 games out of first. And the White Sox are second in the division. All right, nine. I think I fixed it all. The Indians combined for 10 hits as a team as they beat the Royals in Kauffman Stadium 3-2. to two. As of today, the Royals are I think in it's fixed. place in the AL Central. 11 games out all right, of first. we're good. And the Indians we're are good. fourth in the division. They're What's our division lead now? We have a two-game lead in the division now, y'all. Um, let's go to this Cleveland series here. we got a 2-1 deficit. We lose it 2-1. to one. Dang it. Oh, boy, y'all. We're losing games. Shoot. We're about to get a four-game sweep at the hands of Cleveland. No, we beat them in the final. I mean, they're struggling this year, too. We can't afford that. That can't happen. Now, we still have a game-and-a-half lead, which is fantastic. Big series here against Minnesota, y'all, uh, heading into September now. Again, we're going to simulate through the remainder of the month just to see where we're at. 5-5 five, five game. We lose it. That gum it. Dang it, team. We are on a... Again, the Rangers find ways to screw it all up. We had everything going our way. We're going to have to win the division if we want to make it, y'all. We're six games out in the wild card. So we'll see what happens next episode, y'all. Uh, we're probably going to sim forward and play one of these other Oakland games again. We'll see what happens. But goodness gracious, y'all. We're coming down the stretch here. Got some big time series coming up. I mean, look at these teams we got to play. Nothing too easy. Uh, division teams and then quality teams in Atlanta, uh, Philadelphia, Boston. Good Lord, we'll see what happens. But thank you so much for tuning in here today. A little bit shorter of an episode, but hope you enjoyed it. As the Rangers, uh, we got the win today against Oakland, but now we're trailing in the division as we've lost eight out of our last ten games. Uh, struggling right now immensely. 
Pitching's okay, but it's it's the bats that have cooled off for Texas. And uh, that may cost us in the long term here. So we'll have to see what goes on here for Texas uh, down the stretch. But thank you so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up, comment down below. Stay safe out there. Have a great day. We'll see you back here in, y'all, the next video. Y'all take it easy.